If you've ever wondered what the difference is between pages and posts in WordPress, you're not alone. It's one of the first things beginners get confused about. In this video, I'll break it down quickly and simply so you can know the difference between a post and a page and when to use either of those. So let's get started with talking about what the difference is. Pages are static, timeless content. They are the parts of your website that are always there and they are usually part of your main website navigation. They are not time sensitive and you do not organize them with categories or tags, but they do have a hierarchy. So you can have parent pages and child pages. Posts on the other hand are dynamic time sensitive content. They are published with a date and they can be categorized and tagged for organization. They can also appear in RSS feeds, which is great if people want to subscribe to your blog. So the question is, when should you use pages versus when should you use posts? So you want to use pages for permanent site content. This often includes information to help your client trust you and learn about the services you provide. Some examples of pages are the home page, the about page, the contact page, and the page that talks about the services you provide. Some examples of pages are the home page, the about page, the contact page, and any pages you make talking about the services you provide. Posts are going to be fresh, regularly updated content. This is often where you can show off your knowledge and that you are an expert in your industry. Some examples of posts are blog posts, articles, and news updates. So for a real world example, if you owned a restaurant and you wanted to put your menu on your website, you would do that as a page. But if you wanted to talk about special events or times that you were talked about in the media, you would do those as posts. Another example is if you have a landscaping company, you will want pages to talk about the services you provide. But if you want to show your knowledge by talking about the types of plants that work best in the area that you're located, that would be a really good idea for a blog post. Now let's talk about pages and posts from a search engine optimization standpoint. The short version is it doesn't matter if you use a page or a post for SEO. Google doesn't care if it's labeled a post or a page in WordPress, they both get crawled the same way. Google is just looking at the code of your website, not how it's structured in WordPress. But internal linking and site organization does matter. And sometimes it's easier to do that with posts rather than pages. But you should always have an organized structure and good internal links for both posts and pages. The most important thing for SEO is always high quality, relevant content. And you can do that on pages or on posts. So now let me show you how to make a post. So you're going to want to sign into WordPress and then you are going to want to go to post and hover over that and then click add new post. And then you want to give your post a title and then put in some content. And then over here on the right sidebar, make sure post is chosen. And then down here, you're going to want to click into categories because every post needs to have a category. And we are just going to create a new one here and we'll go ahead and call it test. And then when we are done with that, we are going to scroll down even more and see that tags are down here and you can put in tags here if you'd like. I do have it on my list to do a video all about tags and categories. So when that's done, I will link that below if you're confused about the difference between them and when to use either of them. And you can also set a featured image if you'd like by scrolling up and clicking set featured image, which brings you to the media library. We'll go ahead and choose this cute little kitten right here and then click the set featured image button in the bottom right. And if you don't want to publish this post right away, you can schedule it by clicking next to where it says publish over here, click where it says immediately, and then just pick to schedule it for a different day instead. And then this button that did say publish now says schedule. So you would click that to schedule the post. 
If you wanted to publish it immediately, of course, obviously just hit publish. And then you would have to come to this confirmation sidebar, and then you wanna click the schedule button again. And if you're publishing immediately, this will say publish instead of schedule. And now you see the confirmation that the post is now scheduled. Now let's make a page. So we're gonna click the WordPress icon up here to go back to the dashboard. And now we are gonna hover over pages and go to add new page. We are also going to put a title and we are also going to put some content. And now if you want this to be a child page, you can do that here by clicking page in the sidebar. And then where it says parent over here, right now it says none, but you could just click into that and then start typing the name of a parent page or when you click in, it will make a drop down with your pages. You can just choose that page and now you have the parent page set as about. So this would be the child page of the about page. Just like posts, you can schedule a date for the pages to go live, but we're not going to do that with the pages. We are just going to click publish and then we are going to click publish again. And then when that's done saving, you will get this confirmation on the sidebar that shows that the page is now live. And that's it. Now you know the difference between posts and pages, when to use either of them, and how to make both of them. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. And if you are building your own website, make sure to check out my description for my free nine step roadmap to DIY your first website, where I walk you through everything you need to do to get your website live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.